Clamation, everybody, and welcome back to Out There. We're picking up uh, where I left off. This is a brand new day, so I have to uh, reorient myself a little bit. It's been a little while since I've played, but I remember the, the basic controls here. And it looks like we're pretty far along. Uh, this is the furthest we've ever been in the game so far. Uh, but my fuel is not looking so hot, so let me see if I can if I can do something about that. Uh, let's go here. And what do I have? Yes, this this will do. That will do nicely. There we go. Oh nope 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 cancel. <laughs> hit the wrong button. That is not the button I wanted to hit. All right, so I don't know if we've explored this place yet or not. So let's let's do that. It doesn't look like we have because we were out in the middle of, you know, out in the beginning there. Uh, so let's land and see if we can talk to some some aliens here. All right, encounter life. Uh, something about love me, you love. Judges, architects. Um, I guess approve. The only doesn't want to talk anymore. Oh, <laughs> you, I judge and architect, so I love death. Hmm, that's that's very weird. All right, you've learned a new word, me. All right, well, I, I learned something out of it anyway. So let's let's take off. And uh, what am I doing for supplies here? Uh, I need I need fuel is what I need. That would be a very useful. Um, oh damn it! I hit the wrong thing again. <laughs> I keep doing that. Uh, so let's look at what we have here. Uh, we got the gas giants. A rocky plant. Let's see if I can grab some fuel from the gas giant. Good. Oh, and I have a broken probe, but that's okay. I have Omega to to uh, to uh, fix it if I need it. Uh, but I did get a lot of fuel out of that, so that is good. All right, finish. And uh, let's look at our probe here. What can I do? I need two iron to repair it. Let's see if I can do that. Yep, certainly can. All right, but I am going to need some more iron here. So let's see if I can grab some from this. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, inter interplanetary reactor is now, is now out of order. Uh, that's not good. Do I have any iron? Nope. Uh, let's, I'll have to use Omega to repair it. There we go. Alright, let's try this again. Good, and land. Confirm. Alright. Let's drill for some resources. Okay. Got a little bit of iron out of it. Not much. Uh, I'm gonna have to refuel myself here. Let's do that. Good. I'll take off. Yes, confirm. And uh, let's see. Let's. Uh, oop, that's not what I want to do. Let's uh, move on to the next uh, system here and see what it has in store for me. I got a blue giant. Uh, yep, travel there. Day 243, a big rock shines under the rays of the star. A couple of small colored pieces of rock look quite promising. However, on the surface of the rock are some sort of spider patrol robots. What should I do? Oof, spider patrol robots. Um, hmm, that does not sound very inviting. Uh... Yeah. Hmm. 
I guess I'm just gonna have to fly away. <laughs> yeah, I don't need this. Well, not at the cost of fighting a robot army. Yeah, it's that sounds a little bit too uh, too replicator-ish to my for my tastes. <laughs> uh, Stargate reference. Uh, we need we well, need some gas giant here. Let's probe the depths. Good. All right. Got some more fuel from it because we're gonna need to we're gonna need it right now, right away. Although it did very little, so we're gonna end up using up all our fuel here. But I will see if I can orbit the star here. What is this? Just a rocky plane? Okay. Let's orbit the star and see if we can get some more fuel out of it. Alright. Unfortunately, my ultra probe is being very, very uh, fragile. But I do have some iron now. So at least I should be able to repair it, hopefully. Yep. Alright. And let's see if I can grab some more iron here before I go. Oh hey, this is something different. This planet hosted life, but now it is dead. Nearby the high walls of an empty stone city, I find a structure holding several statues. Besides, there's a pile of components. One of them is a broken space folder. There's something unknown here, oval in shape. What could be the use of this? I must study it. You've learned a new technology, solar sails. Hey, how about that? That is awesome. Uh, so while we're here, let's drill. Let's drill the depths. Uh, okay, got some, some resources out here, some silicon. Uh, put that up there, and the iron is what I'm more interested in. Come on, guy. Let me click on it. There we go. And I'll leave the rest behind. Let's see what I can do here with this solar sail. If I can build it or not. I need two, two gold. Hey, I, I have that. What does it do, though? The solar sails are huge fractal streamed panels unfolding on a wide range. It uses the photonic pressure to reduce the use of fuel during interplanetary travels. It cannot be used without a standard propulsion, though. Okay. So it upgrades my power. Excellent. Excellent. And I have an interplanetary reactor, so let us craft that. Good. Yes, my power is all powered out now. Almost. So let us take off. Confirm. Alright, and uh, let's refuel slightly. Since we're still in the red here. Fuel is becoming a very big issue. Hopefully this solar panel will help with that. Uh, and let's, let's see what else we have on our path here. Uh, yellow dwarf. And a red dwarf. Let's go for the yellow dwarf and see uh, if there's any life being hosted there. Day 252. I caught a cold. Not much, eh? You couldn't be more wrong. A cold in zero G, it's the antechamber of hell. When you sneeze, it goes in all directions and you end up floating in your own mucus, which is uncool to the max. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd imagine it's, oh. Wow, this, this solar system has absolutely nothing in it. That is great. Well, let's see if I can grab some fuel anyway while I'm here. There we go. Got a little bit of fuel out of that, and let's uh, let's use it right away here. All right. So far, so good. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna have to move on here, and see what what else is in store. There's a red dwarf here. Let's try that. Day two sixty one. I made an error while calculating the expected speed of the ship. 
I am upset. I had to use a lot of fuel to correct my approach angle. I need to focus more. And I've lost 10 additional fuel here, which is not cool. Not cool at all, but I have some to replace it, even though I am very low on everything here. And my oxygen is getting low too, which is... Well, actually, I have some to repl replenish it, right? Yeah. All right, so that's not so bad. Uh, gas giant, uh, rocky planet, rocky planet. All right, let's... Let's stop off at the gas giant and then one of these rocky planets and see if we can we can get what we need here. Okay, we got some fuel out of that. That's good. And uh, try this planet. Yes, I want to land and I want to drill. Good, very good. All right, so we've got enough iron to last us for a little while here. Uh, let us take off. Confirm. And then I am going to stop off around the star as well. And uh, probe it. There we go. That is what I was looking for. Excellent. All right. And let's, uh, let's refuel ourselves with what we've got. All right, now oxygen. Well, I'll leave. I'll leave it the way it is for right now. I do have some oxygen to replenish in my supply. So let's see. Where do I want to go? I want to go to a black hole. Not really. I have nothing that I can do there. Uh, yellow dwarf. Yes. Let's travel there. Uh oh. First contact. In a distance. There seems to be a spaceship. It's a huge one. There's many of them. <laughs> Millions of other ships fly with it. Unbelievable. They look like humans. Me, Arzor, death. Me, love, Barjak, Arzor, death. Uh, oh boy. Is he like the harbinger of death? <laughs> this is not good. They attack me. Oh boy. I wake up several hours later. I am alive, but things are not looking good. The ship is badly damaged and so are some modules. I think the ship's computer is out of order. What did I just meet? Well, you just apparently met death. I take a couple of minutes to calculate the origin coordinates of this huge ship. What will I find in this star system? I've lost thorium, iron... I lost all my iron out of that? Oh, that, that sucks, man. Hafnium, hydrogen... I forgot how to do thermal resonance generator. I forgot how to do cryonics. Uh, space folder is re needs repair, and the subspace reactor needs repair. Well, alright, so that must have been the origin of that ship. So I definitely don't want to go there. <laughs> Not in this condition. Uh, so what can I, what can I repair here? I guess I need to repair the space folder, right? Uh, alright, repair this. And how about this? Uh, module works only during interstellar travel done with the space folder. If time, blah, 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 blah. Use less fuel. Uh, can I repair it? Yes, I can, apparently. All right. So that was that was a bit scary there. Uh, we, we met death. <laughs> that was our first real encounter with uh, someone who wanted to destroy us. Uh, so let's put some, let's get our oxygen supplies squared away here. And our fuel as well. So now we are, we are hurting in a bad way here. So what do I have here? What the hell is that image? Does that mean that there's, well it's occupied by enemies, okay. That's kind of what I thought. But let's go here and see if I can replenish some supplies. There we 
we go. And uh, encounter life. Uh, friend, uh, Voiba, friend, you. You want death? Uh, no. It wants something from my cargo. All right. Uh, for Omega. So, uh, I guess maybe let's just try Hafnium and see if that, see if it wants that. Doesn't seem to like it. Damn it, man! I can never, <laughs> I can never choose the correct thing here that it wants. Uh, I learned a new word: technology. All right. So let's drill while we're here. I don't think they'll mind too much. All right. So I got some oxygen to replenish what I lost. I got some gold, which is good. Uh, some carbon and some copper. Uh, let's just take the copper for now, although I don't think I really need it. All right, finish. So uh, let's take off. And let me see if I can grab some fuel here. My hull is not doing so hot, though. Let me see if I can uh, repair some hull. It's, this is going to take the rest of my the rest of my iron, but it's about all I can do right now. Probe. Launch probe. All right. Good. We got that going. So we have some some fuel to repair our stuff here. Let me let me actually refuel some of that. All right. All right. Let's get out of this system. This this terrible terrible system that we've been in. Uh, what is this? Yellow dwarf. That's a black hole. Uh, this is. Neutron star. All right, let's head to this yellow dwarf down here and see what is in store for me. Day 279. On the surface of this cinder moon, I notice a sort of amphitheater, or maybe an arena, dug into the rocks. The atmosphere is gloomy. Uh, explore it. I land on the moon. There's nothing here but ashes. On the walls of the arena, a strange fresco is carved in stone. It depicts a, the story of a humanoid people living on a planet and a giant bird man eating their son. The people seem to flee in space on board ships. There are cubes inside the ships. I see the humanoids fighting against each other in the ships. Then I see some of them seem to pillage planets populated with strange looking aliens. Very mysterious. Yeah, you know what the more mysterious part of that is, is that they uh, continue to use frescoes <laughs> even after they were spacefaring and decide to always come back to this planet and, and catalog everything. All right. I've lost some fuel, but that's okay. And I've learned new words. This is good. Evil and give. All right. That will certainly help me. And we got a mysterious space station here. So hopefully it will resupply something that I need desperately. Aha, I gave me some fuel, but I could use some hull. <laughs> a little bit more than fuel right now, but that's still something. So let us move along here to this blue giant. Day 288. Photoelectric effect. A photon hits a metallic surface and thus liberates an electron. But when it's blast of gamma rays from a powerful neutron star, the electric surge is so high that one of my devices is now a complete wreck. Oh boy. Equipment needs repairing. Drill. Ugh. Um. Repair? Not enough resources. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Well, I'm not going to be getting any iron to repair it either because pff, I don't have any. Can I actually build another drill? I wonder. Um, what do I need to build one? No, apparently not. <laughs> apparently not. Uh, that's that's going to be rough. 
Uh, let's see. It looks like there's an abandoned ship here. So we might have to take this... We might be forced to take this abandoned ship over if it's got a drill on it. So, show cargo. Uh, what do we have here? What is this? Shared cryonics. This device upgrades the cryonics module. The alien technology allows to perform cryonic sessions during small amounts of time. It can be used to save a lot of resources, and I will spend less time waiting and doing nothing. Okay. Uh, if I dismantle it, I will salvage that. To repair it, I need that. Alright. Uh, can I get some iron out of one of these things? What do I need to repair this, first of all? I need one iron. Alright. Uh, what will this give me? If I dismantle it? Nope. That won't give me anything. Yes, this will give me iron. Confirm. Alright, we'll take that. And then let's just dismantle all the rest of this stuff. Oops, that's not what I want to do. Dismantle, confirm. Dismantle, confirm. And dismantle and confirm. Alright. We got some more iron out of it. Which is good. And nothing else that I really want. I don't think. So, that's the thing. I, I really didn't check to see if it was... Nah, the power and resistance is not, not as good as I want. Alright, so let's repair this. Good. Alright. So now we can... <laughs> we're not we're not out in the woods here too much. Uh, but... I need to repair my hull. So let's use the rest of that, unfortunately. And... Uh, come here and that has enemies on it so we don't want to go there let's see if we can orbit the star and grab some fuel ah very good very good that is what I need so finish and let's get out of here unfortunately it looks like I'm gonna be running into these enemies a lot more now that I've been now that I have been formally introduced to them a white dwarf or a red dwarf. Let's go to the red dwarf. Try and get closer to this green uh, place here. Day 297. I was struck by a flash of gamma rays. The like that could kill anyone. But I got out even if I now smell like grilled meat. Oh, and I think a couple of computer entries have disappeared too. But since they are gone, I don't know which ones. Terrific. I'm just going to forget how to how to do everything now. I forgot how to do solar sails. That is terrific. And we got some more enemies here. So uh, let's just, I'm not even gonna, I, my hull is not gonna be able to withstand, I think too much more. So let me just uh, put my fuel, put whatever fuel I have in here. And let's get out of this system. Let's move on a little bit. Move down to this red red giant here. Everything, all my supplies are dwindling here. Day 306. A bubble as big as an asteroid is floating in space. It's dotted with shiny, blinking spots. Around it, the void is complete. It's intriguing. Um, hmm. Touch it. I use a long probe to try to touch it. At the very moment my pole touches the bubble, a huge explosion blasts my ship away, and my probe hits the hull and rips it open. It was a pocket of antimatter. Oh boy. Ship is taking damage. Yep. <laughs> One thing I didn't need to do was take more damage. Uh, let's throw what less what we have left here in fuel. Uh, and I need to I need desperately to repair my hull, but unfortunately all these planets are being occupied by enemies now. Uh, I don't know how a gas giant is occupied by enemies, but whatever. It's probably a space station of some sort. Hmm. All right, let's uh, let's make one more jump here. Things are things are desperate, <laughs> very very desperate. Day 315. I thought there was nothing here, or even worse, a black hole. The reality is different. Impossible and incredible, something trapped the whole star system inside a giant sphere made of black matter. There's nothing but a cubic construction drifting alone 
around the galactic sphere. There's the glyph Emanexi shining blue upon it. Uh, throw platinum? Really? That seems odd. Let's let's do that. I think the glyph means platinum. I throw a ton of metal in space, and the glyph starts to glow and absorbs the platinum. The words "Judges Architects" float in my head, and a spherical prison disappears, allowing access to a star system where a magnificent star shines. Was this a prison or a laboratory? I've lost platinum, and I've learned a new word: people. Oh God, it's all enemies too. This is this is not good. Um, what is this? Gas giant and a rocky planet. So I cannot go to them. Uh, we're one more jump from this green planet here as well. So, all right, let's do this. I can't do anything else in this system, so let's try it. Travel. Day 324. The space folder malfunctioned and I found myself far away. Very, very far away. So far away, actually, that every galaxy cluster in the universe was just a tiny spot glimmering in darkness. I used the space folder again, hoping to find a way back to where I came from, and it worked. It's a miracle. If I had known, I'd have taken pictures from the far side of the universe. Well, I don't have a camera anyway. I've lost fuel. But I have found something uh, interesting here. Let's see if I can refuel or something. Nope. That is a big nope. Uh, I hope I can get to this. This would be a, this would be painful if I can't get here. Uh, Judges Architect Station. A long time ago, I was invited to come to this place. All right. Well, I have just enough fuel to do this. <laughs> so let's hope, let's hope for the best. What what's this here? This is, this takes eight fuel, right? Um, maybe I should do that first and get some fuel out of it. Oh boy. Well, let's try it. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> we were so close, yet so far away. Uh, ship destroyed. Code red. This will be my last entry. The hull is cracking and the whole ship is losing pressure. I'm putting a spacesuit on right now to allow for a couple of extra minutes of survival. But this is the end. So long may mankind find someday my logbook, the testament of one of their brother brothers who fought until the very end. Oh, crap. This is the end of my journey. Well, that was our longest adventure yet in out there. And I got to the very, very end there. Probably should have gone to the Judges Architects station first. Uh, but I was afraid that I'd get there and not have any fuel to do anything else. So uh, it was a calculated risk and I uh, was not rewarded for that calculated risk. You can see uh, my score here. Well, uh, that will do it for this episode of Out There. Thanks for watching, everybody. And I'll see you next time.